Hey everybody, once again, apologies for the appalling light in here. There's not really anything I can do about it. I'm pretty sure that every single festival I've been to where I've been shopping, especially drug shopping, <laughs> God, I miss doing that. I've done like a, a haul afterwards to show you the cool things that I picked up because a lot of stuff is often handmade or unique or special, whatever, or things you don't always see. And it occurred to me that I never did one for Veggie Tea for Wave Got It Traffin this year. That being the first festival I was able to go to after COVID. I had glorious plans this year to go not only to Wave Got It Traffin, but I was also going to go to Amphi Festival, Mariluna. I'm not going to try and pronounce it, the little thing in France that Rosa Crooks puts on. Castle Party in Poland. There was a lot of things I wanted to do this year. I ended up spending most of this year in this bed because of this. But we did recently go to the Whitby Goth Weekend slash Tomorrow's Ghosts Festival. Uh, in England, which I had always, always wanted to go to. It's been going for decades and I finally, for the first time, got to go. So this is a combined haul of the things that I picked up soberly at Web Got It Treffin and the wee market that they had at the Tomorrow's Ghosts Festival. So, what should I start with? If you haven't watched the vlogs from the festivals, I will link them below for you. Have a wee look. At the Tomorrow's Ghosts Festival, I bought a tote bag. I always think it's a good idea to get tote bags because they're super duper useful and you use them for years and years and every time you go to the supermarket or to town it's kind of like advertising a thing to people and they might go oh what's that I'll look it up but I got two wee things from there and one is this splendid ring box isn't it beautiful how do I say that Riga Morti Ricore Morti there's the maker's mark on the back. Occult and home decor. All handmade from reclaimed wood. I just thought this was so cute. I'm going to bring this back to New Zealand with me. Southwest, I think a while ago, had brought out this coffin shaped ring box that was lined with red velvet and I really, really wanted it and it was completely sold out very quickly, so never mind. But this is, I think, a bit more special because it's handmade and not everyone has the same one. And while I'm showing you the ring box, I can show you these two Ring. I got these two rings at the medieval market section of the Viggy Tea, the Heidnischersdorf. They're both poison rings. And if you don't know what a poison ring is, it means it opens. Oh, and you can put poison inside for killing people, I suppose. The coffin one does open as well, but it's really well closed. And I don't want to risk damaging it to try and open it. I don't do drugs or anything, so I'm like, what would I possibly put in a container that small? Medication, perhaps, for emergencies? Lorazepam? I got those because uh, sometimes when you're pregnant, your fingers get a bit fat. <laughs> I needed some rings that fit me. So yeah, now I have a couple more beautiful rings to put into the beautiful ring box. The other thing from the Tomorrow's Ghosts Festival, Forever in Black was the name of the lady's shop. She was so kind, and you can see all the other little hats and things that she had in the vlog that I've made. I just thought this was so cute. I mean, come on. It's a little tiny witch's hat. Handmade with love. Plain black, underneath a headband to put it on. I've made hats before, they are hard, okay? Hats are very hard to make. <laughs> it's so cute, I love it so much. I guess next time I have a witch costume or a witch themed outfit or something, I can bust out this adorable little hat. Oh, I love it so much. Below, I will link to a page on my website where I will have links to all the individual shops if I can find them, okay? If I can find the like Etsy shops for handmade things. I will link everything on a post on my website. Cool? Makes it nice and easy. You may have heard me talking about Gothic Cat. I love Gothic Cat. They are such an adorable brand. They combine like goth bands and stuff with cats. For example, here's a tote bag. Meow Division. <laughs> that also comes on a shirt. I've got three shirts from them. I've got quite a few Gothic Cat t-shirts already, but currently None of them fit me, so I got them in a bigger size, and Mr. Owl's been wearing them a lot. So here, first of all, Meow House. They said that that was their own cat, so I thought, well, that's a little bit special, isn't it? I've actually worn these quite a few times, so if they look a bit crushed, that's because they've been worn and packed in and out of bags and washed and stuff. The Kittens of Mercy. I really like this one. I'm not sure which one's my favourite. Which one do you like? And thirdly, the people behind Gothic Cat are the people behind the band Ash Code, who are a wonderful band and very nice people, and you should absolutely look them up if you haven't heard of them before. So I got, got an Ash Code t-shirt. Mom, 
Despite the fact that my record player was stolen in my burglary, I bought a vinyl. I said, which album would you recommend to me? So they told me this one. Obviously, I haven't been able to play it yet, but I love buying records. When I was a wee child, I grew up with records. And I think there's something really nice about having music you can hold. It feels more substantial and each album kind of means something more. But you have the almost ritual of putting it on the player and putting the needle in just the right place so that little scratch it makes when it starts playing. They were also selling merchandise from other bands. So I got this enamel pin from Lebanon Hanover. You might be familiar with this song. Really nice. I've quite gotten into enamel pins. I'm an enamel pin convert now. In the realm of t-shirts, you might have seen in my vlog that I went to see the devil in the universe, because of course I did. Came, I saw the band, bought the t-shirt. This is like the classic design. I didn't have this one. It pleases me how many people tell me that they know about this band and so many other bands because of my videos. I think that's wonderful. I went to the Abaddon Mystic store at Biggie T, which if you watch the vlog, you'll remember that as the people who gave Severine a balloon. Two balloons, actually. They're a great shop. They have a wonderful variety of things. They're based in Dresden, I think. Uh, I got this pillar of Killstar leggings, which I seriously doubt you can see in this light. Beautiful velvet leggings, lovely pattern. I've been wearing these heaps and heaps, very soft and comfortable. I'm a big leggings fan. When I'm not dressed up fancy or whatever, I'm fan t-shirt or black t-shirt and leggings. Also from the Abaddon Mystic store, I was really stoked that they had this because I used to use this soap when I was living in Germany because it's black. Raben <laughs> Schwarz, meaning raven black, and it's patchouli scented shower gel. Smells like happy memories. It's patchouli and sandalwood. I'd say it's more sandalwood. It's got a lovely woodiness to it and it's, I won't squeeze it out because it'll go everywhere. Pitch black soap. The smell of it kind of reminds me of Germany and it's a happy smell. Um, so I bought two, two bottles of Rabenschwarz Duschgel. And speaking of smells, I don't know what the shop was called, if it had a name, but I always, always go looking for perfume noir. But the chap, I mean, I hope he's all right. They'd said that his health wasn't good. The chap that makes perfume noir, I would always make an effort to go and have a talk to him because he's very friendly. He wasn't there with his wee shop, unfortunately, but I was able to find a perfume noir for sale. But this one, mmm, it's called Ragnarok's Reorder. Oh, it's a good strong smell, but not too masculine, you know? It's not written on the bottle what the perfume notes are, but rather there are little pictures, and I'm not quite sure what each one is. It's sweet and deep, wet, earthy, lovely. I'm pretty sure that Abaddon Mystic Store sells this on their website. Maybe not the specific one, but so many different perfumes and perfume noir. And from the same shop, I was really stoked they had some alchemy gothic jewellery and this, I think it's pretty sure it's called Alta Orbis. There are two quite similar necklaces. Um, I've had this necklace for years and years and it's always been one of my favourites. You've probably seen me wearing it a million times if you've been watching me. But I've worn it so much and packed it and travelled with it so much that it was getting a little bit fragile in the arms. I kind of felt like if I bent the arms one more time to straighten them up that I was at serious risk of breaking them. And I really don't want to break my one of my favourite necklaces. But fortunately, I was able to get a replacement. One of my all-time favourite necklaces, brand new. Really, really stoked to be able to get that because a lot of alchemy gothic things, well, actually all alchemy gothic things, they don't make them forever and some of them become very difficult, not like impossible to get after a while, for example this bracelet. You can't like find this bracelet anymore. Also in the realm of accessories, I wanted some belts. I'm a big fan of belts around the waist up high. All my waist belts don't fit me at the moment for obvious reasons. I got this one, which is super, super cool. I don't know the name of the seller, unfortunately, but he was very kind and helpful. It was a wee bit tight, so he added extra leather. He like went out the back of his little stand and made the strap longer for me. So during my period of extra roundness around the middle, I have an extremely cool belt to wear that fits. Super, super cool. Oh, I don't think it was Abaddon. Which bloody shop was it that I got this belt from? Feck. This belt is a bit more plain, just a simple black belt with a chain on it. A bit more simple, but useful, and it fits, and that's the main thing at the moment. <laughs> cool belts with chains all around. At just about all of my festival vlogs, I've picked up something from Flet's Art, who just makes the most cute little handmade 
bat things. I mean, not all of it's handmade, but some of it is. You know, everything's like plush and warm and sweet. I've got so many things from Flats Art. Like, I've got three little bat cushions. I've got a, a bat wing scarf. I've got a a bat wing hot water bottle cover. I got these two things for Severine. She's been very much enjoying playing with this. I usually attach it to her pram for something to play with. Ooh, lovely little plush bat toy. Aww. And, and this one is handmade. It's a little soft squinty bat with lavender in it. Oh. So it can go under your pillow, next to your bed, or in a drawer. <sighs> Lavender is so soothing and lovely, isn't it? Last things, I, I would love to have done so much more shopping, oh my goodness. Also from the Heidnisch's Dorf, so the medieval pagan village, Mr. Owl wanted a drinking horn. I've got a drinking horn, the yeah, like Viking drinking horn. I'm pretty sure from the same chap that I bought mine from years ago, he got one for himself. Great big one, very cool, with this leather loop magic. Thing. But naturally, we saw these tiny wee ones, and I was like, well, I have to get Severine her and drinking horn, daddy horn, and there's a, a baby horn. I mean, come on, I mean, it's so cute. Well into toddlerhood, she'll be able to wear her little drinking horn <laughs> at future medieval festivals. Lastly, I bought myself a small receptacle there as well. I guess this is like a potion bottle. I don't see why you couldn't put some sort of strong spirit or whatever into it for a swig like a flask. Old school flask. It's so pleasingly round. Oh my goodness, the baby's hiccuping. It's so cute. It feels so funny. It, 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 it's strange that it's strange that they can hiccup without any air in there. This would look really wicked, I think, with like a plague doctor costume or any kind of with like a variety of different costumes. I would just like to carry this anywhere, like at parties or festivals or anywhere that you would carry a flask. Like I said, I'll make a post to my website with links to everything that I've told you about if I can find one. So please subscribe to my channel, it makes you cooler. Yeah. Again, it's a pity I didn't get to go to all the festivals and things I wanted to, but next year, yeah. I feel like just after COVID, you know, it's like, oh, I've got so much partying to make up for socializing and, and stuff that we couldn't do, and bands to, to make up for. And I ended up doing like 10% of it. Hey ho, better than nothing. I'm glad I got to go to those two things. What do you think was the best thing that I picked up? I must say, I do rather love this ring box. The little hat is also adorable. I wonder what I would have bought if I had been drinking, if I'd been able to. Anyway, as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye, boys.